Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Sunday, February 7th, and today we celebrate the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. So friends, let us begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things has done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. O oh, may this gracious God, through all our life, be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us. Preserve us in his grace and guide us in distress and free us from all sin till heaven we possess. All praise and thanks to God, the Father now be given. The Son and Spirit blessed, who reigns in highest heaven. Eternal triune God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. As morning breaks, I look to you, O God, to be my strength this day. Alleluia. O God, you are my God. For you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our work give you honor, and our voices celebrate you forever. As morning breaks, I look to you, O God, to be my strength this day. Alleluia. 
from the midst of the flames, three young, the three young men cried out with one voice, Blessed be God. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. From the midst of the flames, the three young men cried out with one voice, Blessed be God. Alleluia. <clears throat> Let the people of Zion rejoice in their king. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory and shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as Creator and Redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness, and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. Let the people of Zion rejoice in their king. Alleluia. A reading from the book of Revelation. Salvation is from our God, who is seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. Praise and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving and honor, power and might to our God forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Jesus rose early in the morning and went out to a place of solitude, and there he prayed. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus rose early in the morning and went out to a place of solitude, and there he prayed. Christ is the sun that never sets, the true light that shines on every man. Let us call out to him in praise. Lord, you are our life and our salvation. Creator of the stars, we thank you for your gift, the first rays of the dawn, and we commemorate your resurrection. Lord, you are our life and our salvation. May your Holy Spirit teach us to do your will today, and may your wisdom guide us always. Lord, you are our life and our salvation. Each Sunday you give us the joy of gathering as your people around the table of your word and your body. Lord, you are our life and our salvation. From our hearts we thank you for your countless blessings. Lord, you are our life and our salvation. We call to mind our other prayers, our other intentions, calling to mind especially those who have asked for our prayers and each of those people that we've promised to pray for. So gathering these intentions spoken aloud, those that we utter in the silence of our hearts, we lift up our voices praying using those sacred words that Jesus himself taught us. And so together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, Watch over your family and keep us safe in your care, for all our hope is in you. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours on this Sunday morning. Um, you know, just as a, as a thought, um, I know that at least in my diocese here in the Diocese of Grand Rapids, um, and maybe where you are too, all of us have uh, a, a dispensation from the obligation of, of Sunday Mass, um, and, and one of the things on that, what, what that means, and, and it's not something that can be replaced by, um, by a live stream of Mass. Um, there's a requirement of participation uh, that, is, that is different from spectating. Um, a requirement of presence. Um, and and, and needing, to, uh, needing to be aware of that, of course. But we, even with our uh, Sunday obligation dispensed, um, there is still the third commandment to keep holy the Sabbath. And so remembering that we're supposed to keep today 
holy. And so asking you, how are you going to be holy today? How are you going to keep this day set apart, consecrated, different from yesterday, different from tomorrow, but uh, reserved, reserving today as a day for the Lord, whether you're able to go to Mass or not, uh, keeping holy today the Sabbath. So friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, whether you are enjoying and loving all of this snow that we've got here in West Michigan like I am, thanks be to God, um, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, keeping this day holy for the Lord. May God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.